Hey y'all, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my Texas garden. Today, we're going to be talking about heat loving cilantro alternatives. Now, if you're new around here, welcome. And if you're all about gardening naturally, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now the herb that we eat the most in my house is probably cilantro. And cilantro in my area is a cool weather crop, meaning it just doesn't do that well here in our summers. I actually grow cilantro here in the winter time all winter long, and cilantro actually gets sweeter after a frost. I mean like sugar sweet. It gets really, really sweet after a frost. Now I'm not saying that cilantro won't grow here in the summertime. What I am saying is that it will bolt very, very fast. And when cilantro bolts, it actually changes the flavor. Now I do have a plan to keep us in cilantro all summer long. Basically what I'm going to do is a high density succession planning. And all that is, is I'm going to take this pot and basically divide it up into four. And in the first section, I'm going to plant several seeds, very, very close together. I'm gonna wait for those to sprout and get about an inch high. And then in the next section, I'm going to plant more seeds. I'll wait till those get about an inch high. And then in the next section, I'll repeat the same steps that I did in the first and the second section. I'll actually do that until this entire pot is planted out. And then as they get a few inches tall, I'll harvest out the first section and replant it. And I'll just continue to plant like that. Now the issue that I have with planting like that is it's a lot of work, but it can be done. And the other option is to find heat loving alternatives to cilantro and I think I have found some. So the first one that I have here is called cilantro. I actually have some planted out right here and in the other stackable planter over there. Now I grew up eating this. You can buy this at any Asian market. It's a it's an elongated leaf with kind of like jagged edges but they're not sharp at all. There's There's nothing sharp about this. It's a very nice soft plant to eat. And in the Asian market, it's actually quite expensive compared to cilantro. Taste-wise, it's, it's a great alternative to cilantro. It's got a very pungent cilantro flavor mixed in with a little bit of citrus. I've already got some of these seeds planted and just to show you what the seeds look like. And the other seeds that I'm pretty excited about are these papalo seeds. Now I heard about these a couple of years back. These plants grow wild in Mexico. And before cilantro was introduced, because cilantro originally was like, I think it was called Chinese parsley. It was introduced back in the 1500s in Mexico. Before cilantro, there was papalo. And this was widely used. This, this grows wild in uh, Mexico. And looking at the pictures online, it actually looks like lamb's quarters. And I believe that they're all in that same class of family, but I'd have to do more research and get back with you on that. Now these seeds are pretty interesting. Um, when you look at them, they actually look kind of like marigold seeds or like dandelion seeds. They have a little fan on the back of them that help them catch air and spread, which is why they grow wild in Mexico. Now in my stackable planters, what I did was I planted out three in each stackable planter, thinking that I would get at least one to germinate. Boy, was I wrong. Um, after they didn't germinate, I actually did a little bit more research on them and discovered that they have a very, very low germination rate naturally, especially if the little fan on the back is broken off, they just won't germinate at all. Because they have such a low germination rate, I'm gonna go ahead and plant out the rest of this packet today. So in this pot, the soil is pretty moist to begin with, so I'm not gonna worry about pre-hydrating the soil. If we didn't, if it wasn't already moist, I would um, pre-moisten the soil, really soak it down good with a couple of gallons of water. But we've had like 10 inches of rain in the last 72 hours, so we're good on the moisture here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of breaking this up. So now I'm gonna take my popolo seeds and very gently, Just kind of let the wind take them here. 
And I kind of knew that was going to happen. So I brought my tweezers outside and we're just going to kind of move things around where we want them, kind of break them up. I feel like I'm doing surgery here, my goodness. Y'all, seriously, I've never been so delicate with seeds before. And to think these are like weed seeds that I'm being super delicate with, is that funny or what? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some potting soil mix and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top just like this. Now I read that you don't wanna put more than half of an inch of soil on top of the popolo seed. So we're gonna go about a quarter inch thick. Now normally what you would see me do is press down and get a good soil to seed connection. However, I don't wanna do that. In this case, that's what I did in my planters over there. And I think that could be why I didn't see any germination. So all I'm gonna do is just come in here and super soak this soil. And I'm gonna come in twice a day and just spritz the top just like this because we basically just put enough uh, soil down just to make sure that the uh, seeds are covered and they won't dry out. Now, it should be anywhere from seven to 21 days before these seeds germinate. And all I need is one to germinate. That's it, I just need one to germinate. So now we water and wait. If you'd like to see more great gardening videos, go ahead and click right here and I'll meet y'all over there.